In the real world, you'll have to learn how to work with templates when you're designing web pages. Now, you can make your own templates. A uh, template is basically a web page that's already made that you basically copy the design and the style of it when you're creating a new page. So you don't have to hand code or even create a page with an editor from scratch every time. So I've included some basic templates for you at the internetprofitmentor.com site. And I'm, I just included download pages in this little blurb here to let you know that download page templates are in there as well. So to find it, you just go to the Internet Profit Mentor training portal and click on resources. And then if you go down to templates, now it might not always be the second one on the page because as time goes on, I'll be adding to this page. So look for templates. And you'll see that there's some templates in here already. I'll be expanding this as well, but as you can see there's already some templates in there and you just see the different kinds of uh, templates so there's sample download pages there's sample tables different sizes different background colors there's just a basic web page layout um, there's also a redirect file so if you're promoting affiliate programs you can use that to mask and hide your affiliate link so people don't um, cut off your affiliate link and not give you the commission when you refer somebody and people won't recognize that you're directing them through an affiliate link. So uh, just download these templates, read the README files that are in most of them. They should be pretty self-explanatory. So in these templates, there's something I want to point out to you, and that's the comment tag. In HTML, in the code, you'll see sometimes a comment tag. This tag, basically, if you open the tag with this portion of the comment tag, and close it with this portion of the comment tag, the HTML editor knows to ignore anything that's in the middle. So if you want to make a little comment in your code, you could just put this tag and then the right hand tag, and in the middle you can type whatever you want, and the HTML editor will ignore that so it won't display it on the screen. Now this is helpful when you're writing code so you can leave little notes to yourself. Like normally, start table here, uh, and then you could put a tag afterwards, end table here. Uh, comment tags are useful for a bunch of stuff. So in my templates, you'll see comment tags like this. It'll say, start page content. And then there'll be a bunch of code in between. Like then I start doing HTML code. And then it'll say, end page content. Other tags you may see in my um, templates are perhaps start table. And then you'll see a bunch of code in here. And then at the end, you'll see end table. So if you find one of the templates, one of the tables, one of the little items of things that I do in those examples, if you find it useful and you want to put it on another page, just copy from the first comment tag down to the second comment tag, cut it out, go paste it into the web page of your choice, and then uh, all the code in between gets copied with these two comment tags. So that's definitely useful for you. And also, if you have some code on a page that you want to eliminate temporarily, but later you're going to go back and uh, redo that code, you could just open up a comment tag with the main with the comment tag opener, and then you could go down to the end of the code you're trying to hide and close the comment tag. So comment tags are very useful. You're probably going to end up finding uh, several uses for them over time. And when you're looking through the templates found in the template and download page uh, set resource section uh, right here under the resources then uh, you'll be able to make some sense of that